Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I am Hasha Ali Khan. Last video I have completed the first main problem on techniques of financial statement analysis. Six short problems I have completed and one main problem. In this video, second and third main problem I am going to continue. So if you want the complete command on the subject, watch the videos in sequence, one after the other, then only you can get the command. If you join in between or if you leave in between, you may not be able to understand. So my suggestion, go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject cost control and management accounting, select the video of technique of financial statement analysis, watch the initial video. You come to know what do you mean by the techniques of financial. What are the techniques available? Comparative statement, common size statement, trend analysis and how the problem will be solved. So before starting the second problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which are given in the link under my description. Always keep ready the problem, take a screenshot of the solution of second and third problem, then I explain each and every point. Come on, see the second problem. Problem number two. The income statement of Gautam Limited are given for the year 2016-2017. Prepare comparative statement. When income statement is given, we have to prepare comparative income statement which is specifically given. Analyze and interpret the significance of changes in this statement. Previous problem only we have prepared the statements but in this problem after making the comparative income statement we have to give the interpretation on the changes in the values and 2017-2016 first column 2017 second column 2016 but we don't require we require first 2016 then 2017 now see the format here Gautam Limited comparative income statement for the year ended 31st December 1670. Four columns we require 2016, 2017 absolute change and percentage change. These four columns we require for making what? Comparative income statement that you have to remember. Now we have to remember the format. How to make the income statement? First of all, sales are given last year 725, current year 10. First of all, we will fill up the data in the first two columns. Don't write anything in the absolute change percentage. Afterwards, we can write. First, we write whatever is given in the problem. Sales are given last year 725, current year 10 lakh. So 725, 10 lakh. Less discount sales return. Last year 10,000, current year 15,000. 10,000, 15,000. Deduct sales minus sales return. We'll get the net sales. From this deduct cost of goods sold, cost of goods sold are given 435 and 615, so 435, 615. Deduct cost of goods sold, that means net sales minus COGS will get the gross profit, write it down as A. The gross profit last year 280, current year 370. Now operating expenses, now expenses are administrative expenses last year 50, current year 70. And selling expenses last year 160, current year 180. Take the total 210 and 250. These are the operating expenses. Gross profit minus operating expenses, you will get operating profit A minus B. So 280 minus 210, 70. 370 minus 250, 120. Operating profit we got. From operating profit, deduct non operating expenses. The non operating expenses are finance cost, interest charges. So here it is given interest on loan. Remember interest on loan is a non-operating expense. This is not given in the problem, but we must know. So of non-operating expense, interest on loan. Last year 20, current year 15,000. Deduct it 50,000 and 1 lakh 5,000. This is the PBT, profit before tax. From this deduct corporate tax. Corporate tax is given last year 15, current year 30. 15,000, 30,000. Deduct will get profit after tax. 35,000, 75,000 given in the problem. That's all. Now we don't require the problem. All the points we have taken. Simply we have to take absolute change, percentage change. Already last video I have explained you absolute change means current year value minus last year value. So 10 lakh minus 725 will get 
टू लैक सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड नाउ वी नीड परसेंटेज चेंज एब्सोल्यूट चेंज डिवाइडेड बाय लास्ट ईयर फिगर इन टू हंड्रेड व्हाट इज एब्सोल्यूट चेंज टू सेवेंटी फाइव व्हाट इज द लास्ट ईयर फिगर सेवन ट्वेंटी फाइव तो टू सेवेंटी फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय सेवन ट्वेंटी फाइव इन टू हंड्रेड यू विल गेट थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट नाइन थ्री सिमिलरली फिफ्टीन 5000 divided by 10000 into 100 you'll get 50% same procedure we have to adopt for all the values absolute change means current year value minus last year value 370 minus 280 you'll get 90000 90000 divided by 2 lakh 80000 will be 32.4 similarly you have to calculate all but here you will find 15000 minus 20000 you'll get minus 5000 So minus five thousand divided by twenty thousand into hundred, you will get minus twenty five percent. That means expense decreased. All other expenses have increased, but interest on loan have decreased. That's all. Same procedure. Seventy five thousand minus thirty five thousand, forty thousand. Forty thousand divided by thirty five thousand into hundred, one fourteen point two nine. That's all. This is the preparation of comparative income statement. now it is asking you to give the interpretation on the changes in this figures what do you observe here it depends on your wording you have to remember the logic there are no specific standard words that will that should be used the student must know how to give the interpretation on what figures we have to give the interpretation that the student must know So here I am going to explain you. This is the first problem where I am giving the interpretation. Concentrate now. First, when increase in sales is there, it should increase the gross profit also. If sales increases, then COGS will also increase because when production increases, the sales will increase. If sales are increasing, automatically it is understood that cost of goods or will also increase, right? So here. The net sales have increased by thirty-seven point seven six percent. Thirty-seven point seven six percent is the increase in net sales. The gross profit should also increase by the same rate. But here, gross profit is increasing by thirty-two point one four percent. This is the gross profit. That means the percentage increase in gross profit is lower than the percentage increase in net sales. Net sales increased by thirty-seven point seven six. Gross profit increased by thirty-two point one four. Why? Why the gross profit is increasing at a lower rate? Because the cost of goods sold have increased at a higher rate. What is the rate of increase in cost of goods sold? Forty-one point three eight percent. Our cost is increasing at a higher rate than the sales. Sales are increasing only at thirty-seven. 37% our sales are increasing but our cost is increasing at 41% so definitely there is a downward pressure on profit the so profit is increased by 32.14 this point you have to write down so the increase in net sales is lesser than the increase in cost of goods sold see here this is the cost of goods sold the increase in net sales is lesser Then the increase in cost of goods sold, hence the gross profit increased at a lower rate than the sales. The gross profit have increased at a lower rate than the sales. That is the first point. In this way, you have to give the interpretation. Secondly, the operating expense have increased at a lower rate. That is only nineteen percent. From gross profit, we have to come to operating profit. From gross profit, we are jumping to. operating profit but it in between gross profit and operating profit we have operating expenses the operating expense have increased only by 19% our gross profit is increasing by 32% whereas our operating expense is increasing only by 19% that's why there is a upward pressure on profit the profit will further increase now the operating profit will increase by 71% gross profit increased by 32% whereas operating profit increased by 71% why because operating expenses have increased at a very low rate what is the rate here 19.05% the operating expenses have increased at a lower rate that is only 19% hence the operating profit have increased at a higher rate that is 71.43 two interpretations work 
third interpretation there is decrease in non operating expense so pbt have increased at a much higher rate 110% so between net operating profit and profit before tax net operating profit and profit before tax there is non operating expense non operating expense is interest on loan what is happening to interest on loan interest on loan decreased last year interest on loan 20000 current year interest on loan 15000 5000 rupees interest on loan decreased when expenses decreases the profitability will increase so here operating profit was increased by 71% whereas profit before tax increased by 110% increased from 71% to 110% because operating expense have decreased next tax increased by 100% so PAT have increased by 114.29 tax here increased by 100% so last profit is profit after tax increased by 114.29 the overall strategy of the company is focused on cost reduction. From this analysis, we come to know that the company is focusing on cost reduction. See here, the cost is except this cost of goods sold. The cost of goods sold have increased, but operating expense increasing at a very low rate and non-operating expenses in, has decreased. Instead of increasing, non-operating expense have decreased. Due to the control of all the expenses, the profitability is increasing. The overall position as regards profitability is satisfactory. If you see this income statement, it appears that in 2017, the company has improved. The profitability position is satisfactory in 2017 compared to 2016. That's it. In this way, you have to give the interpretation. So after listening, after watching this lecture, definitely you will come to know how to give the interpretation. You can write in your own words, but the logic is like this. That's it. Now, third problem. The income statement of Priyanka Limited is given for the year ending 31st December 16 and 17. Rearrange the figures in a comparative form and study the profitability position just like the previous problem. Comparative income statement for 2016-2017. Now see here. Priyanka Limited comparative income statement for the year 16 17. 16 17 absolute change percentage change just like the previous. Net sales it is given 785 900. First of all, we'll fill up the data in the first two columns. After that, absolute and percentage 785. Cost of goods sold 450 500. Cost of goods sold 450 500. Deduct will get gross profit 335 400. Operating expenses are general expenses and selling expenses. Whatever is given in the problem, same thing I am writing. General expense, administrative, selling expense. 70, 72, 80, 90. Total is 150, 162. This is the operating expenses total. Now gross profit minus operating expenses will get operating profit. So 335 minus 150, 185. 400 minus 162, 238. This is the operating profit. From this, deduct non-operating expenses. Non-operating expenses is only one interest paid. So interest paid last year 25, current year 30. Deduct 16208 is the PBT, profit before tax. From this, income tax is given 7080. So 7080 income tax, deduct 90 and 128 is the profit after tax. Now we don't require the problem. By saying this two. Income, income statement of 16 and 17, we can write absolute change. Just now I told you, I'm not going to repeat it again. Absolute change means current year figure minus last year figure. 900 minus 785, 115. Percentage change, absolute change divided by last year figure. So 115 divided by 785 into 100, 14.6. 500 minus 450 is 50. 50 divided by 450 into 100, 11.11. .11. 400 minus 335, 65, 65 by 335 into 100, 19.40. Same procedure we have to follow for all the things. After calculating this, we will come to the interpretation. Just like the previous problem, we have to give the interpretation. Here, net sales increased by 14.65%, 14 whereas gross profit have increased by 19.40%. What do you observe? The increase in gross profit is higher than the increase in net sales. Compare the net sales with GP. 
the GP is increasing at a higher rate than net sales. Why? Because the cost of goods sold is increasing at a lower rate. In the previous problem, it was exactly contrast, opposite. Here, the cost of goods sold is increasing only by 11.11%. 11, 11 the company is, has controlled the cost of goods sold. That's why the gross profit ratio have increased at a higher rate. So first, the increase in net sales is greater than the increase in COGS. This led to modest increase in GB. <coughs> first point. Second interpretation, operating profit. The operating profit have increased to 28.65. GP increased by 19.4. Whereas operating profit have increased by 28.65. Why the operating profit have increased at a higher rate than GP? Because the operating expenses have increased at a lower rate. How much is the operating expenses? Only 8%. Operating expenses have increased only by 8%. That, that is the reason why operating profit have increased at a higher rate. Operating expenses have recorded a marginal growth. Operating profit have increased on account of slow growth of operating expenses. That's it. Third one, interest and taxes have increased, but the growth rate is less than that of operating profit. Operating profit have increased by 28.65%. Whereas the non-operating expense, interest on loan increased by 20%. It is less than 28. And income tax have increased by 14.29% which is less than 28 point. That means interest and income tax had increased at a lower rate than operating profit. That's why the profit after tax have increased at a higher rate. That is 42.22%. The last, the overall strategy of the company is focused on cost reduction. If you compare all the figures, it is clear that the company is controlling the cost. That is the reason why the profitability is increasing. Last, the overall position as regards profitability is satisfactory. If we compare these two years, we can see that there is a modest increase in the profitability of 2017 compared to 2016. That's all. So this video is very, very important because I have explained you to give the interpretation. In examination, they will ask you to prepare the comparative income statement and also to give the interpretation. So like this interpretation, you have to give. So this is the end of problem number three. Three main problems I've completed. Inshallah, we'll continue the next problem in the next video.